So as we begin a discussion on how to customize the En-ROADS tasks and menu bar items, let's get a little background information on how these tasks and menu bar items are loaded in the first place. And to do that, first we're going to go look at Workspace Configuration. And we're going to scroll down to our MS Underbar DGN Live List. And we can see that uh, En-ROADS Group Data DGN Live, all the DGN Lives in that location are being loaded. Now, how did this configuration variable get there? Uh, to understand that, we're going to go look at the MicroStation config APPL directory. In there, there's one En-ROADS config file that's delivered to this location when En-ROADS is installed. If we go look inside that config file, um, it contains all the information it needs to load all the civil platform, uh, roundabout, civil actor, all those kind of commands. Down at the bottom, it also includes an inroads common.cfg in the bin config directory. If we go look in that directory, here's our inroads common.config. It's in the program files Bentley inroads group bin config location. If we double click to look at that one in Notepad, uh, we can see that down at the bottom of this inroads common config is the line that appends the MS end of our DG and live list uh, with the path to the inroads DG and lives. And if we look in that folder, which is at this location here, we can see that there is one inroads task menus that DG and live list that's delivered with the product that contains all of the default tasks in menu bars. So when we, when we begin uh, doing some customization, it is possible for us to load up that inroads task menus DG and live and begin um, customizing it for our needs.